On the subject of sow-faced deities, and this uh, pertains to Tantra and uh, Vajrayana Buddhism and depictions of deities in uh, painting and sculpture, uh, we really don't have a lot of um, of uh, actual deities. We, we really have Marichi and uh, Vajravarahi are really the two. And uh, Marichi, which we've already talked about, Marichi, so far that's been uncovered, either that I know of textually and visually, we, d we don't have any Marichis where the central face is that of, of, a, of a pig or, or, a, or a sow. It's always on the side, and it's usually the two-faced, uh, or sorry, three-faced Marichi, then the left-hand uh, face would be would be a sow, and then when you have uh, more complex uh, figures with uh, with six or seven or nine heads, possibly, then then it would the the sow face would be on top, and sow here we mean pig. We're talking about about pigs, but female pig, a sow, male pig, a boar. Now, for Vajravarahi, Vajravarahi is a form of Vajrayogini, and then there's many forms of, of Vajravarahi with, uh, uh, with the sow's head. And generally in art, it's usually the uh, Vajravarahi with uh, two faces, one main sort of semi-peaceful, semi-wrathful face, and then on her right side of the face is a, is a sow's head. Uh, now, we also have some figures, some forms of Vajravarahi, where the main central face is a sow's head. And uh, this would be the Artisidi tradition, um, and, that, and it would also be the Brahman Sridhara tradition. Now, the Brahman Sridhara, that's a one face four-armed, and the main face is that of the pig, of the sow. Artisiddhi is a one-faced, one pig face, and a two-armed, uh, with and uh, the face is a sow. But then we have Mahavarahamukhi. Mahavarahamukhi is actually um, uh, for uh, the highest class of tantra. It's uh, the fourth class, uh, and uh, she has thirty-six, thirty-seven. She actually has one central sow's face, and then she has 36 additional animal faces. So, so this is, this is a, a very complex uh, figure. Now, aside from these, then we do have retinue deities, uh, retinue deities in, the, in some of the Vajra, Vajravarahi mandalas, where, where we have 37 deities. Uh, or or whatnot, and then some of the retinue figures can can have a pig face, uh, but those figures never appear in sculpture and never appear as a, as a central subject of a painting. They only appear within the mandala structure uh, in a mandala painting. <clears throat> now we also have within the Nyingma tradition, we have some retinue deities that to relate to the Guyagarbha Tantra and to the different uh, systems of bardo teachings and bardo mandalas, where you have retinue deities, uh, females, who have a pig face as well. <clears throat> so that's really it. Aside from Marichi and then and then a few different forms of Vajravarahi, well, all forms of Vajravarahi by definition must have a pig face. Uh, because of the word, the, the, the varaha or varahi means pig. So aside from, from these, the Marichi and Vajravarahi, and then some side retinue figures, that, that's it. That, that's all we have for uh, sow-faced deities.